So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to move up into the um, thoracic cavity or the chest cavity, and we're going to try to expose the uh, trachea, the esophagus, and so we can take a look at the, uh, the heart and the lungs here. This is a slow, sort of delicate process. Just takes a little bit of time and some patience to kind of move stuff. Got a lot of layers here, so I'm just trying to tease back the layers a little bit. So you're starting to see the trachea underneath here. It's right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take some of this tissue away here. This actually be a decent time to pull in some tweezers. Again, just trying to remove some of this tissue here. Okay, and if we cut up a little bit further. Start to expose. Up here, your pharynx and your larynx, so your voice box is up here. Up in this area, again, we've got this connected tissue here. Just try to remove that back a little bit. All right. So right here we have your trachea, which is your part of your respiratory system. It goes into your mouth, the pharynx, larynx, down through the trachea. It's going to go back here and to these two small little tubes that branch off in this direction. One goes into your right lung, one goes into your left lung. And those are called your bronchial tubes. So we kind of tease this back a little bit. Kind of removing the sac that's around the heart. Again, trying to use some of these tweezers here to kind of remove. So again, here's your heart, or the, the, the pig's heart. We'll put that to the side. And then below it are your lungs. And they come in multiple lobes. But you have your, your right lung and you have your left lung. I'm going to try now to dissect this out just a little bit and see if we can expose the bronchial tubes. Again, I'm just trying to gently just tease away this connective tissue here. That's the remnants of the aortic arch.
So here's what we're going to do now is we're going to remove up here from the uh, pharynx larynx region. We're going to cut that out and remove the lungs. Before we do that though, you know, we can see it from this angle here, but underneath here, directly connected to is going to be your esophagus. Maybe a little bit easier to see once we remove everything. A little snip here. Cutting back. Again, just removing connective tissue. And now you'll start to see there's a there's a, a separation here, you can see. So you can see that with here. So right here is your trachea. And the way that you tell the trachea apart from the esophagus is one is location. Trachea is always in the front on the anterior side, the esophagus is behind it on the on the posterior side. But the trachea too, if you get close and if you run your probe up and down against it, it feels bumpy because there are rings of cartilage that wrap around it. And that prevents your trachea from closing in on itself as you are uh, breathing. And, but the one behind it will then travel here behind the trachea, behind the lungs, and will eventually get down here into where your stomach used to be. I'm just going to continue removing this. Again, I'm just teasing away connective tissue here. The glue that holds it all together. You'll notice the lungs are directly connected to the inner portion of the ribs there. And that's important because that suction there actually helps with the expansion of your lungs as you're breathing, as your chest expands. That suction actually helps pull and open up your lungs. And it becomes a problem if someone gets hit there and, or you, get a, and you, get, you lose that connection there. Your lung will will not be able to inflate. So here, right, you can see is the uh, pharynx larynx region up here into your trachea and then it goes down here, branches off. They're hard to see but there are a uh, small tube here and here that go into your lungs with the bronchial tubes um, and then you hit your, your lungs. And that's your respiratory system. What we have left over is an empty vessel, and that empty vessel is the, uh, the cavities of your fetal pig.